my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, 8th of May, the Catholic Church commemorates Saint Magdalena of Canossa. She was born in Verona in Italy on March 1st, 1774, to a rich and noble family. Through painful events like the death of her father, the departure of her mother, sicknesses and misunderstandings, the Lord guided her toward unexpected paths. At 17, she believed she was called to the life of the cloister and she attempted to join Carmelites twice, but the Holy Spirit urged her to give herself to the service of the neediest persons, whom the convent grills prevented her from reaching out to. Returning home, forced by the sorrowful family circumstances and the tragic historical events of the 18th century, she concealed in her heart the dream of offering herself to God and to the service of the needy. She lived in the Canosa Palace, accepting the administration of the huge family patrimony. In the midst of her tireless activities and heavy family responsibilities, Magdalena found time to intensify her prayer, the contemplation of the love of Christ on the cross and of the sorrowful mother. Inflamed by the same love of God, she opened herself to the cry of the poor, hungering for bread, instruction and God. In the face of so many needs, Magdalena felt unequal to the task. She sought and found her companions, who welcomed her invitation to share her life of poverty and unconditional charity. In 1808, having overcome the final resistance from her family, she left the Canossa Palace to initiate in Verona what she interiorly felt was God's will to serve Christ in the poor. She died in Verona on April 10, 1935 and was beatified in the year 1941 and she was declared a saint by Pope John Paul II on 2nd October 1988. The example of Magdalena, who opened her heart to the neediest people, is an inspiration for us to reach out to our neighbors in need.